Hello, I wanted to share some information with you about Google Chrome apps and extensions, um, and I will be showing you how to add these to your browser. Um, it's a really great way to really personalize um, your Google Chrome browser for things that you really need occasionally or frequently. And Google, the Chrome store has lots and lots of different things that you can add on. So first of all, the difference between an app and an extension. Uh, in the Google Chrome store, you actually find both. You can find apps and extensions. Um, it's, sim it's easy to think about the difference if you think about apps on your phone. Um, each one runs independently. They run, they have their own interface, which means they all look different. They're like individual things. You don't need them to combine together with other apps for them to work. They just work by themselves. The extensions, um, think of them as an extension of Chrome. They extend what you can do inside Chrome um, and inside the websites that you visit using Chrome. They can be used within a website. So what I'm going to show you today is how to get to the Google Chrome store and it'll be a place for you to do a lot of browsing um, and looking around to see what you could use in your own personal browser. First thing, um, you really do need to be on the machine probably that you use and you need to be logged in um, into your Google account. You're going to want to add these um, to your personal browser account. That way they stay there and you can use them and you know it's there. So you can see that I'm logged in here. Up at the top, the three little lines offer you different options. This is how I get to the Chrome store. There's more than one way. But if you go into settings, and there's a place here for you to find extensions over here on the left. You can see the extensions that I have already downloaded at some point. If you scroll down underneath the frame here of the video, there is a place where you can see more extensions and it'll take you to the Chrome store. You can also just use chrome.google.com slash web store, which would probably be a much faster way to do it. So right here, here's where knowing the difference between an extension and an app is going to be helpful for you because they are in different places. So there are tons of both. What I'm going to show you today, though, is an extension. Mary shared a one that we may find really helpful for students who need a little bit of assistance with um, website reading. So you can search, of course, or browse. I am going to search using read and write that's part of the name of the extension and this is the one that Mary said was going to be really helpful for many of us this is where you just like in the App Store um, iTunes App Store you can go in here and read about it you can see screenshots you can kinda of see how it works to see if it's helpful for you I'm mentioning this because if you go over here to the information this is a paid extension unless you are a teacher and you can get a free premium subscription and there is a web address right here um, once you download the extension you'll want to use this web address to get that for free so you're going to definitely want to remember that all you do is you click add to Chrome and it lets you know that it's going to add that extension okay there it goes it's been added um, this icon will be visible when the extension can act on the current page. So you can see it right here that that's, a, that's an extension that will work on this page that I'm looking at right now. You can manage your extensions by clicking extensions in the window menu, which of course is way up here off the screen, and there's extensions. Back to here, this is where it's showing enabled. At any time, if you want to take away an extension that you don't use anymore, you can just delete and it will be gone. Something else I want to show you too um, is over here on the bookmark bar show apps and I did mention that apps versus extensions so these are apps that I have downloaded these are independent programs that will run um, on their own like I was saying and that's where you can go to see what apps you have already um, downloaded for yourself in your browser just in case you ever need to check that. 
I really hope that helps, and I hope that this um, extension is really helpful for you and your learners. Um, you might want to spend some time also looking through. There are so many. You could spend a lot of time checking out extensions and apps. I hope it's helpful for you.